the Poe Ramblin' Boys. Sound. 
everybody doing? Let's hear you on time tonight. Welcome to the world famous Station Inn and we're the Poor Ramblin' Boys. Thank y'all for coming out tonight. Uh, I know that you had a pretty good option by going to the Ryman tonight to see Del McCurry. So, uh, we're glad you're here. <laughs> we was worried when we heard Del was at the Ryman. <laughs> it's sold but, out, so we're Oh, it's sold out? Okay, yes, so you guys are just the leftovers. Okay, I understand. It's okay. No, thank y'all for coming and uh, have a good time here tonight at Station Inn. This is kind of the the mecca of bluegrass music, and we're glad to be here celebrating 40 years right here at Station Inn. So give him a hand for that. We'll go through and introduce everybody as we go along. We, we do have a fiddle player tonight, but she's somewhere in the air. Uh, she got caught up in this crazy weather. Yeah, she is kind of always in the air, but uh, she got caught up in the crazy weather, and I believe she'll be here for the second set. So... So y'all should stay around for the second set. And then you could call your friends and everything because we got quite a few seats left. So come on, come on, bring them on. Let's see here. We might even have some twin fiddles. I don't know. Just You never know what's going to happen here. We'll go through and introduce everybody. Over here on the bass, he comes to you. You're looking. Oh. <laughs> He's like a mannequin. Yep. You look like you should be on Mount Rushmore. <laughs> he comes to you all the way originally from the great bluegrass state of North Dakota. And uh, there he is, live and in person right here. Has anybody ever seen somebody from North Dakota? If you haven't, you have now. Here he is. And uh, he does a great job over here on the base. If you would make him welcome, we call him Lightning. His name is Jasper Lorenzen right there on the base. Yeah, huh. Yeah, huh. Let's see. Over here on the guitar. You sounded pretty good tonight. Thank you. I forgot the words. Yeah, you did. Who wrote that song? I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Couldn't call the writer up and get the words, could you? No, he wasn't sending them to me. <laughs> this fella comes all the way from the Commonwealth of Kentucky. That's Proof right. that the state of Kentucky can raise anything right. and in mass quantities. <laughs> and uh, he's a... It's offensive? <laughs> Sorry. Biggest star in bluegrass, folks. No, you look good, man. I like that, man. You look good. Yep. We're going to sing a song. You want to do that song right now? About you just, them, you know, that one song. Okay, we'll do that song. If, <laughs> if you would make them welcome here, right now, at the Station Inn, Mr. Jug, Josh Franklin, right there. Give him a hand. Everybody.
December, and the, the last time we was here, you weren't here because your first child had just been born that week. Showing up. So he's so six good. months old now, and he's here, the little Caspian. He's here, and uh, he's doing doing awful. What? Where's he at? He's in the bus. Right? He's in the bus. Oh. He's got that. He's got to drive tonight. So. So oh. Okay. He's got to drive us to Owensboro tonight, so he's getting his rest. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, so he wasn't with us, but since the last time we were here, uh, we've come out with a gospel project, uh, full gospel. It's over there on the table, and we also have a uh, well, my mandolin project. I uh, put out a mandolin project of all instrumentals that I wrote, and a fellow that I grew up learning from songs he wrote. So, got all kinds of good stuff. Got some brand new T-shirts since the last time we was here as well. And we've got all kinds of great news, which we'll talk about over the course of the night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want to do a song off the new gospel album, I fellas? Think, I think we would. Y'all want to hear a gospel song? <laughs> all right. <laughs> do we know any of them on there? <laughs> all right. This was a, a single. <laughs>
sit down. Thank you all. We worked, uh, we all worked with James King, and that's one of the songs that we got to sing with him all the time. And uh, that is over on that gospel project over there, if you want to take us home. <coughs> Ooh. Jasper, would you like to play a number for the fine folks on your big fiddle? I've been playing on all of them. Have you? Okay. Well, we wanted to feature you a little bit. We ain't oh, got that's to do that. You'd like. Okay, well, y'all want to hear Jasper pick a little bass? Yeah. All right, let's do that. Here we go. Little boogie. Oh, that's... We lost the bass. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see here. What else have we got to talk about? We've got some great news that just happened not too long ago. And uh, we uh, just an article come out not too long ago, a press release uh, within the last two weeks, I guess. And uh, we uh, are lucky enough that we signed up with Rounder Records out of Nashville, Tennessee. So we're the newest uh, members of Rounder. And uh, we've also hooked up with Rainmaker Management. And we've got our manager over there, Mike Grudge. He's here with us tonight. And uh, we've also hooked up with Crossover Touring. And uh, they're our new booking agent. So we've got a really good, uh, we're looking forward to what's going to happen in the near future with all of them. And uh, we're working on that uh, Rounder project. We just got the single finished up. We're in the mixing stages now. So be looking for that in uh, about the beginning of August. And we'll have it out. And uh, it's the next train south, that first song that we cut tonight here at Station Inn. That's our single for Rounder, our very first Rounder song. Woo boy! It's gonna be a good time. That's right. Yeah. All right. Did we get the bass line down? I reckon so. All right. <laughs> Over here on the five string banjo, he comes to you all the way from the state of Tennessee. We call it state of Tennessee. We're in Tennessee. Over in the state of East Tennessee. Yeah. He's the mayor of Dixon Branch. He just got promoted, though. He, he's, not the promo, uh, he's not the mayor no more. He got promoted. He's now the dog catcher. So uh, Dixon Branch over there, they got about eight people that live there. So I, I don't know who voted for who, uh, but uh, he's now the dog catcher. And uh, 
So he's the ex-mayor of Dixon Branch. <laughs> if you would make him welcome right here at the Station Inn, that's Jeremy Brown right there. <laughs> they were already yelling at me. <laughs> oh, thank you folks so much. We'll send you one off the latest record. Right now, one entitled The Late Last Night. <laughs>
Thank you, little George Jones there for you. preaching old Jimmy Martin I guess classic he wrote that yes, over right. here on the guitar one more time gonna sing you a song Jug come on up here and do yes, one for us fine folks yeah. they love you Jug they love you thank y'all don't get too excited for me I ain't worth it <laughs> I'll do y'all a good old uh it's one of my favorite <laughs> songs that Ralph Stanley ever cut medicine Springs. no not medicine springs that's a good one okay. it's actually uh, one uh Come on, boys, let's go to the fair. No, it's not. Come on, boys, let's go to the fair. Bigger it's a long, out. skinny, lanky Sarah Jane. <laughs> oh, that's a good we one. Can do that. No, I'm kidding. It's actually one that Ricky Skaggs' his mama wrote. Ricky. Yeah. I can't think of her name. What's her name? Dickie. Dickie Skaggs. It's called All I Ever Loved Is You.
Josh Rinkle right there singing that song, doing a mighty fine job. Oh, folks, we got a table over here to my left, and at that table we got some T-shirts, and we got some vinyl records, and those T-shirts are brand new. Yeah, we've only had them out for about a week now, so you could be some of the first to start wearing them. Well, yeah, the, and those ones specifically, no one's even wore them, so yeah. But uh, we also have our Back to the Mountain CD over there for sale. We have our brand new, it's only been out for, what, uh, 10 days? Our brand new gospel album. And then the speller right here who I'm about to introduce has a brand new solo CD. It's a mandolin instrumental CD. It, of course, it's got all the other instruments on it as well. Who would want to hear just mandolins? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's got a bunch of original compositions on it and... Uh, what have you, so go over there and, there and check it out. We're going to do a song off it right now, but I'll introduce this fella. He comes all the way originally from the great state of misery. Missouri. Missouri, sorry. <laughs> great state. We've been miserable there many a time. Many a time. I was miserable there a whole month one weekend. Uh, That's right. Almost died. <laughs> but uh, he's a pretty fine fella in a way. If you like a fella in a way, he does all the mandolin playing in the band, a whole lot of lead singing, all the bus mechanic in as well. Shoot, buddy. So I tell you what. He knows how to turn on them wrenches. I don't know if it does any good, but he gets down there and he comes yeah. out dirty. So he's doing something. I don't he know. Makes that make it look hard. <laughs> yeah, he makes it look hard, whatever he does. But uh, make him welcome here right now. That CJ Lewandowski, give him a big hand. Right. Hey!
taught me how to play, he wrote back in about 1969. He come down here to Nashville and put it on the Cherry label. Way right? back then, yeah, that's a subsidiary label of Star Day. Yeah. Anyhow, we got some more news. This is better than the. This is better than the 10 o'clock news. It's well, it's not even 10 o'clock news. Maybe. I don't know. No, we got more. We've got more news, folks. I don't know. What? You were there today. We just received word that we are now the official, a official endorsee of Straight Up Strings out of California. Yeah, we've got Roger sitting off here and Callie, and, and we, it's it's really cool. We were over at Nam today, and I've been using Straight Up Strings for quite a while, and the boys have been using them some as as we can get. They're hard to ship from California sometimes, but. We finally got a whole a whole box of them, and they tri tried them out. And we went over to Nam today, and we had a good time. Thank you all for inviting us over to Nam, by the way. We had a good time with you all. We were their guests, and um, so yeah, we've got us a deal going on. We've got some straight up strings, so check them out. Uh, there's some compensated strings. It's Roger. You could come up here and talk for like an hour on this stuff. I don't know. Right You're coming right up, yeah. But uh, it's, it's really incredible. Check them out, uh, Straight Up Strings. And uh, we'll hopefully be carrying some on the road here soon with us. And maybe our fellow mandolin players, guitar players, and banjo players will uh, take a set home and try them out. They're great. They make all of our instruments sound a little bit better, even more better than what they are. <laughs> Ooh, goodness gracious, they're good. We need all the help we can get. Yeah. We do need all the help we can get. All right. We've got time for a few more. and going to take a short break. I can't, I can't go on this way either. <laughs> we, well, we're going to save that for the next set because the fiddle player's coming in and she said, don't do any B-flat songs until I get there. That's a true story. <laughs> so hopefully we'll, she'll be here for the second set and we'll do that for you for sure. That'll just make her stay. <laughs> y'all having fun? Yeah. All right. Well, thank y'all for hanging out with us. How many people the first time ever seeing the Four Rambling Boys? Boy, yeah. oh, look at all the potential customers. Yeah, no, come on over to the table and shake and howdy with us when we get done with this set. And uh, be sure to get a pizza here at the Station Inn. Yes. If you want to look like us, <laughs> go, get you, go get you a pizza over there, folks, because they got some of the best pizza around, I'm telling you. Mm -mm -mm. It ain't delivery. It's not DiGiorno either. Let's see. Mr. Brown, would you like to step up and do a number for the fine folks right here tonight at the... <laughs> I think they might want you to. Don't you want them to? I did it on purpose. I've been sick for about two weeks. Oh, tell them about it, Sammy. That's right. You must take it. You laugh all you want to there, bearded man. Uh, we'll do you a song right now. Which one you want to do, boys? All right, we'll do that one. It's an old Osborne Brothers tune, one entitled, I May Be a Little Bit Tight Tonight. <laughs> Yeah. 
the truth, but he's sounding awful good tonight. Oh, boy. <laughs> they liked it. <laughs> he got him a new washer. She'll be back. <laughs> Oh, Lord. he got him a new washing machine the other day. I was under the bus working on the bus, and I get a phone call from him. So I, I usually know that it's either he got new sound equipment if he's calling me or something bad's happened. So I answered the phone thinking the worst, and he said, and I think it was the worst because he asked me to come over and help him unload a washer. And I said, I'm sorry, buddy. i got to work on the bus. Did you just hook it up in the bed of the truck? Yeah, he just hooked it up in the bed of the truck. He washed his clothes outside. Yep. That's old timey. It is old timey, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, Jug, step up here and do a song that you wrote. <laughs> Y'all want to hear a song he wrote, definitely. All right. We'll get that one out of the way. All right. All right. I, I got to sing this song on WSM this morning. Oh, yeah. And I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, the song I wrote. Uh, this is about a, uh, me and this gal was supposed to get married. Who was she? What's her girl, name? Girl, her what? name? Yeah. That's not a true story. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it is. Come on now. Her dad is on the soundboard back there, so I, oh. it's, not a, it's not a true story. No, we were, we were supposed to get married, and I tell you, we're halfway there. Halfway oh, yeah. there? Yeah, she's married. Oh. <laughs> yeah. True story. I wrote this song on June 4th. Wait a minute. That was the day after my sister's wedding. Well, your dad's on the soundboard, so that makes sense. <laughs> but anyways, uh, how many how many people out there is married? Anybody? Anybody married? Married? Yeah. Uh, how many of you lady folks out there had something old, and new, and borrowed and blue on your wedding day? Any, anyone? Y'all, some of y'all do. One of them. All right. I'll do this song for you then. It's called the Old, New, Borrowed and Blue. <laughs>
that, and uh, we'll be back. And <laughs> that's not a true story at all, is it? No. He wrote it like it wasn't a true story. He lies a lot. <clears throat> Anyhow, <laughs> come on and hang out with us over at the table, and uh, we should have a fiddle player on the second set. I think. Her mic's on. Not sure. Her mic is hey, on. To check We're out. waiting on her, but she's just not here. I think she quit again, but she can't quit because we never hired her. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that is the problem. Mm. Like <laughs> this is goofy. All right. We were talking about Dell or, 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 earlier. Y'all want to do a Dell song? Yeah. Uh, not a Dell. Not, no, not, not that one. I said a. Oh, Dale McCurry song. I don't have the hair for this one, but we'll try it.
station in. Is everybody having a good time? Yeah. All right. If you aren't having a good time, get out of here so somebody else can come in. All right? No, thank you all for hanging out with us. Go have your beer and guaranteed we're going to sound better with one beer. I swear. Us drinking it or you drinking it. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Thank you all for coming and hanging out with us at the table. And uh, we sold quite a bit of stuff, but we could, we could always sell more. No, we do. Thank you all for uh, coming over there and hanging out with us. And Well, yeah, it's a good time. If you have any requests, just uh, tell us what to do, and we'll, we'll try and do them for you as we go along through this last half. Is there any more stuff we can do with them twins over there? What you got up your sleeve? Let's do that gospel one on the new oh. project. <sighs> okay. This is one on the gospel project, and uh, thank you all for coming up and buying one of that, and we've sold quite a few of those. And this is the one that a friend of mine wrote uh, back in the, I don't know, the early 2000s. And uh, this one, I really like this one a whole lot. I lost my mom when I was real young, and uh, this one kind of touched me a little bit, and uh, we decided to put it on the album, and I hope you all enjoy it. This is one called, For Me It's Hello. Is everybody ready? For Me It's Hello. <laughs> Smile. 
Thank y'all. That's on that gospel project there. For me, it's hello. <laughs> boys. Another hand for Miss Bronwyn Keith Hines right here helping us out. Twin fiddles. You got to come see her tomorrow, folks. If you ain't got nothing to do, come on over here. If you do have something to do, cancel it and come over here. All right. We're going to cancel romp just so we can come back and watch mile 12 tomorrow. Yes, sir. You do it all the time. <laughs> Let's go right here. We can do that. Hmm. If you would, make welcome to the stage, all the way from Boston, Massachusetts, <laughs> Miss Laura Orshaw. Give her a hand, everybody. Thank you. It feels good to be here. <laughs> I tell you what, I was, I was watching this show from up in the air. Yep, I was on the Facebook Live. Really? How yep, was it? I was on the plane. Did you like it? You know, <laughs> I'll give you the critiques later. But okay. it was pretty cool. So we want to say thank you to the station in for making yep. this available to folks all yeah. over the world. I think my parents are watching right now. I'm sorry. And I, hey, Mark. Yep. Hey, Mark. Yep. So it was pretty cool. But I didn't quite understand how they could get the uh, the Wi-Fi way up there in the air, but. The windshield wipers on the plane apparently weren't working, so we couldn't take off while it was raining. I don't, I don't quite understand how that works, but, but I'm here and you're here, so thank you, everybody. We're excited to play for you tonight. stuck around a little bit for our second set right here. Now that you've hear, heard the twin fiddles, you can leave, I guess, if you'd like to. I won't, wouldn't blame you. Now, uh, Laura, on that CD that we just recorded, that that song was on that y'all kicked off, did you do twin fiddles or was it triple fiddles? Or was it a quartet? Listen close. It was triple. Listen close. It was one person. All right. Yep. If you want to hear it in all its glory, take it home with you over there, folks. Absolutely. Track number 13. On the CD. We're gonna go ahead right now and do you a song. Boys, what'd y'all say you had in mind? We want about the same 
Oh, we'll do one right here about the state of Tennessee. Yep. That's a good place to be. I'm glad I'm here right here tonight. Oh, yes. You gonna kick it off for us there on the banjo? Let me step out of the way. I think that's why I think she was debating there at the airport. You probably missed your first flight or something saying, Do I really want to go hang out with those guys? They came over the loudspeaker and they said to me, Laura, Laura Orshaw. What are you thinking? <laughs> are you really sure you want to get on this plane? You got a song for us? I think I do. What do you got? Well, I've been feeling a little under the weather, not only because it's been rainy. I'm under the weather. Rainy, we, you know, how do we get nor'easters in June in Boston? Why do I live in Boston? I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. Anyway, I'll send this out to uh, anybody who might be feeling a little bit like me, a little under the weather. Yeah. You might have one called the honky tonk -itis. Oh, wow.
can fiddle one. Okay. You got, hey, you got time to fiddle one? Or do you gotta catch another flight? <laughs> Let me check my schedule. Yeah, let's check the schedule. Let me check my schedule. All right, you got one? Let's try that cotton eye Joe. Let's see. That one. Joe. Is that one by his official name tonight? I'll, yeah, I guess Joe. so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So sad. We got a, hey, now we got a good buddy listening. I need to say something, I guess. Or he's watching. Uh, Rick. Oh, Rick from out there in California. This is for you, my friend.
This is one we haven't done in a long time, but we're going to do it for you now. If we mess it up, y'all ain't going to tell nobody, are you? Y'all ain't even paying attention. Okay, that's good. Well, I got a tune in this thing here. Oh, like CJ said, we haven't done this song live in a long time, but it is on our album right over there that we released in 2000. 14, I guess, 15, 14, 15, I don't know, it was a year or two ago. I don't even know what year it is right now, but it's a good song that a buddy of ours named Jerry Cole wrote for us. He lives over there in Sharp Chapel, Tennessee. He's the bass player for Russell Moore and Third Time Out. You might have seen him somewhere out on the road. He's a fine fellow and a good friend of ours, and he, uh, he wrote this song and uh, said, I think this might be a good one for y'all, and we recorded it and we liked it. And I don't know why we haven't been playing it, but I can't even remember the last time we picked it. So I'm glad we got a request for it so we can go ahead and learn it again for you and play it right now. CJ, you got that mandolin about where it's as close as it can get? Yeah. Go ahead and kick it off for us.
we got another song, another homegrown song coming up for you right now. This one comes from the fella on the guitar. He likes homegrown songs. Doug, if you would, come up here and tell the folks how you wrote this. All right. Well, you don't have to tell them how you wrote it on the paper or anything, just, you know, how you come about it. That's when you're supposed to talk right there. You knocked one out. Hey, uh, how y'all doing? Sorry, that's distracting. We's having a, a, a meeting over there. Uh, this song right here is about some advice that my dad gave me back when I first started driving. He said, uh, I don't know what he was thinking because our town's kind of small and no one ever leaves. But uh, he said, no matter where you go, no matter how bad you mess up, no matter how far you go, just remember where you came from because you can always go home. And uh, so I, I don't know, I kind of took it to heart. Neither one of us at the time ever knew exactly how far I would go. I really ain't been far, really, but I forgot a few times. But this right here is called Remember Where You Came From. Thank you. news I was telling you earlier? Yeah. We got more news. Uh, Can you believe that? Got more news I, 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 You're out of the loop. I, 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 yeah. Loop. We've got more he knows. news. He knows. We're going to be here at the Station Inn on September 8th. So come on back and see us. Yep. So come on back and see us and have a good time with us here at the Station Inn again. Tell all your friends and we'll have a good time. That's for dang sure. All you folks listening right there on that camera, September 8th, we want to see your face right here at the Station Inn, 12th Avenue, South, Station Inn. Yep, mm -hmm. just look for all the skyscrapers around us. <laughs> well, we got the... 
All right, this one is gonna feature the banjo man right now. Love you, Ralph. <laughs> Here's one about a big woman in Florida, all right? people remember the great James King? Yes. The bluegrass storyteller, folks. We lost him way too early, and uh, we worked with him for quite a while, and uh, we were always influenced by him ever since we was young, and we still are kind of young, but I remember seeing him at Grant's Farm in St. Louis, Missouri. This is uh, one that Oh, this is probably one of his earlier hits, back from the, in, uh, about 97, 98, real early. Here's one called The Crazy Heart. Crazy heart, I wish I didn't love you. 
have come and gone here at the Station Inn, and I hope y'all had a good time with us. And, uh, we're Thank you all. <laughs> on behalf of Jasper over here on the bass, give him a hand one more time, would you? Josh Wrinkle over here on the guitar. Jeremy Brown on the five-string banjo. And on behalf of the half of the show that Laura Orshaw right there. <laughs> come back September 8th. We're going to be here. Make sure to come over tomorrow night for mile 12. You're going to have a good time with them folks as well. <clears throat> Let's see, boys. What do we get up our sleeve to end a good night here at Station Inn? Well, All right, we can do that. All right, y'all have a good night. Have a safe trip back. We'll see y'all down the Bluegrass Trail. over here at the station and thank you for 40 years of bluegrass right here in Nashville. This is the mecca. I think it's a good way to end it. Hello Mrs. Johnson. You sell by this one. Sunday school teacher. What brings you out slumming? Do you reckon the preacher? my glass I see you eyeball that pretty young lass it ain't none of your business but yes she's with me and we don't need no sermon you 
self-righteous woman, just let me be. Oh, the Lord knows I'm drinking. Oh, the Lord knows I'm drinking. And running around. And running around. And he don't need your loud mouth. Informing the town. Oh, the Lord knows I'm a sinner. Oh, the Lord knows I'm a sinner. Nah.